These last four months, I've been developing a colony sim action game. And some people asked why I'm replacing the 3D renderer in the game engine I use, Bevy, with a custom Vulkan renderer. To answer that, first we need to know what is Vulkan. Vulkan is a cross-platform API for GPUs created by the Kronos Group, which consists of over 150 member companies including NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, and Apple. It gives you as much control over the GPU as possible without being tied to any specific hardware brand, supporting platforms including PC, Linux, Android, and Switch. That's not all the platforms I want to release on, but it's as broad as it gets if you want to make low-level performance optimizations for your game. My game generates architecture, terrain, and character animations in real time so that the average gamer feels like a professional 3D artist. Any FPS boost means the player can build crazier things. So let's look at eight benchmarks I wrote to compare my custom Vulkan renderer with the default renderer in the Bevy game engine, which uses a higher level API called WGPU. I wanted to benchmark using the most standard min spec PC possible. So I went and got this Steam Deck off Facebook Marketplace. The first test is a triangle, the fundamental building block of every 3D game engine, because 3D models are always made of triangles. My Vulkan renderer renders triangles 304% faster than the default WGPU renderer in Bevy. Next, let's render our first 3D object, a cube. We don't need 3D modeling software for this. We can define the vertices of the cube in code, and this forms 12 triangles. We'll also add lighting using the simple Blin Fong model and add some rotation. Vulkan renders the cube 308% faster. In my game, I sometimes render wireframes of cubes to show potential locations on a grid that the player can build on. So I turn the cube into a wireframe cube. But actually, each line is just two really thin triangles. Vulkan renders 294% faster. Now let's try a real 3D model from fab.com. And what better model to use than a stock of grapes? The lighting in my Vulkan renderer sucks compared to Bevy, so this isn't a fair comparison, but it's enough to estimate that Vulkan renders 337% faster. But the big problem here is that this is not enough grapes, so now let's try 1000 stocks of grapes. GPUs can render duplicate meshes very efficiently because the mesh is only stored once in memory. Vulkan does this 376% faster. Let's move on to a simple low poly environment like this classroom, because if we do a more detailed environment, I'm gonna expose how ugly my lighting implementation is right now. With Vulkan, we go 409% faster. Now what about animated characters like this guy? 153% faster. Almost every 3D game needs 2D UI, so let's render some UI using the popular eGUI library in Rust. Only 143% faster. I'm guessing WGPU is fine for UI because it's not going to be the bottleneck in a 3D game anyways, but if we're replacing the renderer, we've got to replace it for everything. For the last example, my game simulates water flow using the pipe method, where water flows from high to low height, bouncing off things like walls, and can interact with different objects. For rendering, I added some ray tracing effects with the shader. 111% faster. I've open sourced all my code for the renderer and the benchmarks on GitHub, so you can read and run everything from this video yourself. You might be wondering, why is this in Rust? Aren't games with good graphics supposed to use C++? And basically, I was a full-time C++ developer for two and a half years, and I still get confused by it, so I went with Rust because it's the only other popular option that lets you do memory management. If you really understand how to write a 3D renderer, and right now, I don't, that's why the code is a mess. But if you understand it, then you are well on your way to making your own game engine. Or at least that's what I tell myself.